uh, I started the Vendor Observer in 1978. Um, and it went very, very well. It was a very critical paper of the status quo. It uh, talked a lot about the liberation movement SWAPO, and it also um, focused on the atrocities under the South African regime at the time. But unfortunately at the time, the newspaper um, editor um, he decided that in order to get advertising for the newspaper, he would have to get rid of me. And so I left the Vintage Observer, which I had started, and it took me about a year to raise funds to start the Namibian, which I got off the ground in August 1985. I had started a newspaper and then found myself in the position where I was suddenly told I shouldn't write politics anymore, even though I was the political editor, because the then editor wanted to attract advertising to the paper. And I walked. <laughs> and that is how I managed to start the Namibian. So I would say again that editors, I mean, it, it might sound self-serving, but if possible, they shouldn't compromise their principles. Um, but then again, it's, it's a tough world out there today. People need their jobs, and it's easier said than done, but I certainly would not have been able to work for um, an ownership or a management that would not allow principles like editorial integrity, or if they interfered in any way. And so I would have walked, but I can't tell them to do the same. But I would recommend that. Um, I believed in a newspaper that uh, put principle before profit, which is why I set the newspaper up as a non-profit trust. Non-profit trust in the sense that uh, we wanted to make profit, and we eventually did after independence in 1990, um, but we didn't have shareholders or anybody who would breathe down our necks and say they wanted more money and um, make advertising content dictate, for example, among other things. And so I did a number of things to ensure this happened, set the paper up as a trust. So all the profits of the newspaper go into the trust. I also ensured that the editor of the Namibian, who took over from me, is also the CEO of the company. And this makes it a lot easier not to drive the profit motive above all else and to keep editorial integrity at its, at its peak. We had to make the newspaper sustainable. Um, and that was not necessarily easier in a country like Namibia, which is a vast country, but with a small population, with an advertising community that was suspicious about a newspaper that called itself The Namibian at a time that uh, we were actually living in Southwest Africa. Um, and so we did it in, really, I'm not a business person at all, but um, I adopted a lean and mean approach salaries were not great, uh, people were called upon to work because they were committed to what they were doing, they felt passion um, in the belief of properly informing the people of the country what was happening, what was going on around them. And I think the combination of those um, and the dedication of staff was really which got us to the point where we finally became sustainable and when that happened we ploughed a lot of the money back into improving uh, staff benefits and so on.